Hi everyone, welcome back to Equipoise Classes. I am Subhi Gupta and in these videos we study economics but from Tamil Nadu board book and I always say book doesn't matter. I just like that book to clear up all your economics basics. So if you are an economics enthusiast, I think you will love the series. So this week we have started with the, you know, what is full employment and then we covered up that uh, what is unemployment and what are different types of unemployment and once we did that, so finally what we covered was uh, in yesterday's class, the class classical theory of employment and especially we studied about Say's law. J.B. Say is an economist, is a classical, was a classical economist and uh, he gave a proposition in the form of Say's law and what are the implications, what are the assumptions, what was the criticism, we read all of it and today we are going to start the Keynes theory of employment because there are two school of thoughts and uh, one we have already studied in yesterday's class. Uh, today we are going to cover what has been said by John Maynard in Keynes or J.M. Keynes as we call him. So we call him Keynes only and this is Keynes theory of employment and income. Okay, so Keynes book, The General Theory of Employment, Interest and Money, published in 1936, is highly significant work that marked a turning point in development of modern economic theory. So it was a major, major uh, turning point in modern economic theory, if we say so. And... Uh, uh, basically, the theory of Keynes was against the belief of classical economists. Obviously, classical economists against to ki tabhi to unhone nikali na ye theory that market forces in capitalist economy adjust themselves to attain equi equilibrium. So Keynes theory said that supply creates its own demand and everything's adjust automatically. Economy mein kisi ko kuch karne ki zarurat nahi hai, sab apne aap ho jata hai. But aisa nahi hota, aisa Keynes ne bola. Okay, Keynes not only criticized classical economists but also he advocated his own theory of employment. So he is not only there are economists who you know uh, disregard others theory but he was not that he was not one of them he was a person who not only criticized the other theory but also uh, gave his own proposition or solution so I would call these people like wo problem nahi gaare aake, ya rona nahi rore, wo solution bhi laare aapke saamne, right so what was Keynes theory Keynes theory was a general theory as it tried to explain all types of situation, not only equilibrium level, but uh, level of employment, but also the concept of full employment as well as the possibility of underemployment. So Keynes ne ni kaki full employment hi hogi, full employment hi honi chahiye, chike and baaki theory ham koi padenge hi sab apne aap adjust. Unhum saare scenario bata apko unemployment, underemployment se leke full employment concept unhone sab kuch cover kar apni theory mein. Keynes theory of employment was based on the view of short run. So classical theory kya thi? Classical theory long run ki baat kar rahi thi. Classical theory bol rahi thi. Long run mein sab apne aap adjust hota hai. Keynes ki theory ne ka nahi hum short ki baat karta hai pahle. Thik hai long to itna dynamic hai economy ki kal kya ho jai kisi ek technological change ki ho jai se kisi ek pandemic ki ho jai se puri economy hil ke rai jai. To abhi hum short run pe baat karta hai. Asa Keynes ne bola. Thik hai according to him the factor of production such as capital goods, supply of labor, technology and efficiency of labor remain unchanged while determining the level of un uh, employment. Thik hai so yeh sab unchanged rehta hai. Keen ne yeh basic basic joh cheez boli hai. Aaj hum sirf utna kar rahe hai. From tomorrow onwards we start with what is effective demand and all that. So hum bas yeh pad lete hai Keen's ke baare mein. Uh, kuch major cheez hai joh aapko pata honi chahi hai. Because Keen's theory, Canadian theory is something which we are following till date. So we should know about John Maynard Keen was one of the most influential economists of 20th century. He was born in Cambridge in 1883. In addition to his work as an economist, he held positions such as civil servant, director of Bank of England, leader of British delegation of negotiators at the Bretton Woods Conference at point in his career. And economic theory based on his idea is known as Keynesian economics. And it remains highly influential even today, as I'm saying, particularly in the field of macroeconomics, Keynesian economics. So, see, classical theory came to us, and we had to beat the Keynes. And from that date, we have to beat the modern Keynesian and a lot of things. But his proposition is also in macroeconomics. So, we should know about him. And these are all you know, the things that we got to know about him. So, that's it for today's video. And we'll continue the chapter tomorrow. And I really hope you're finding this series useful in some or the other way. If yes, do share your feedback, like and share with other people as well. And subscribe, you'll get better to know how good it feels. Because your, each and every subscription of yours truly means a lot to me. And I'm very, very, very grateful. So, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow with another one. Till then, take care, guys. And bye-bye.